Lauren Cranston, 30 years of age, still does not believe she's done anything wrong. Though Justice Anthony Payne said handing down an eight-year prison sentence in the Supreme Court last week for her role in the Plutus payroll scam found that this was not a victimless crime. It was a scam on the tax office. 105 million grifted sentences still for other co-conspirators to be handed down shortly. So what then of PwC, the global giant, the biggest of the big four audit and consulting firms, and perhaps the most powerful financial firm in the world? What have they done? They were confidentially advising the government on tax laws while advising their multinational clients how to dodge the new laws before they were even passed. So Lauren Cranston gets eight years in prison for her minor role in a $105 million scam. And PwC, well, what did they get? For this billion dollars potentially in tax dodged, grifted from the Commonwealth by this treasonous practice. Well, the guy at the center of the scandal, the former PwC tax partner, Peter Collins, he cops a two year ban. Besides this totally disproportionate punishment, he's registration as a tax agent has been terminated for two years, whereupon he is free to reapply again. And PwC? Well, the firm has committed to a review of its ethics, an ethics review, conflicts of interest. Pretty gripping stuff, eh? Didn't they learn ethics at the kindergarten along with the rest of us? You know, we were all taught not to tell fibs, not to cheat, not to steal. Were they all raised by evil nannies, these people, or did, or did they miss that when they were four or five years old? The high farce in all of this is that the confidential info was sent to dozens of partners. It was a full-blown racket who then passed it on to clients to dud the OTO, potentially of billions of dollars. They get money from the government for telling the government how to do their tax laws, and they get money from their multinationals for passing on secrets. Quick update, PwC CEO Tom Seymour was stood down today, so the scandal yet grows. This scandal warrants nothing less than a Royal Commission. Yes, Royal Commissions may be lawyers' picnics, but apart from all the pageantry and the pomp, they do expose things. They have special powers to demand evidence, which Senate inquiries and joint parliamentary committees and so on just do not, not have. So the big four, these four firms, Deloitte, EY, PwC and KPMG have been racking up double digit rises in revenue over the past few years. Not profit, but revenue. Well, they're not companies, they're partnerships, and this is part of the problem. They're very, very opaque, arcane, ancient structures. Now, this is mainly down, this explosion in revenue growth is down to the explosion in consulting work for governments. But also, there's a problem. They've been buying lawyers and law firms like there's no tomorrow. And why have they been doing that? So that they can skirt the rules on legal professional privilege. This is why we need a Royal Commission, because when the ATO drags them into court, the big four simply say, sorry, we can't give you that information you're demanding because it is privileged client information. There was a lawyer in the room. So why do we need a Royal Commission now into the big four and their shady tax practices? Well, a Royal Commission would have the powers to demand full disclosure, powers to avoid this rampant secrecy, and that will bring in tax revenues by the hundreds of millions and the billions of dollars for the good of Australians. Because a Royal Commission will be able to get to the bottom of how these opaque partnerships work, how they fashion themselves as the guardians of commerce, as their audit role would have it, while at the same time raking in billions in government consulting work and telling their multinational foreign clients how to dodge tax in Australia. Bring it on, Royal Commission into the big four. Yours truly has the privilege of being asked in recent days to appear before a Senate inquiry into the big four, which will very much dwell on this PwC scandal, but this is bigger than just PwC. Thank you for your support. Like, comment on the video below.